partner Jeff Houston. I'm Drew Goodman. Now, in the eighth inning last night, Ryan McMahon, or in the ninth inning last night, Ryan McMahon ties up the baseball game. And he has had the penchant for coming through <laughs> in the big moment. We used to call Seth Smith Mr. Late Night. Ryan McMahon may be the modern day uh, Mr. Late Night. And it came during a period, Huey, where he's really struggling. Yeah, striking out a little bit too much. And you think about Ryan, 36 career home runs now for him. Six of them have come in the seventh inning or later. So last night, what was interesting, when you talked to him after the ball game, he said after that first pitch fastball that I kind of fouled off, he goes, I was looking for an off-speed pitch. For him to be thinking of that thought process, to then be able to take it the other way, and there was a number I was referencing, six career home runs, seventh inning or later to tie uh, or take the lead. This year, 216 average, just seven home runs, 19 RBIs. Last year, 250, 24, and 83. So, I mean, if you talk to Mac, he's going to say the same thing. And I think he's one of those guys, more than anybody, that was hurt by the layoff. Because we saw him in spring training, and you and I both commented to each other, if there wasn't a guy that was more locked in than Ryan McMahon, I, I don't know who it was. Because he was he was spot on with the swing. Yeah, I mean, when you when you hit 24 and drive in 83, a lot of people will say, well, that's your breakout year. We thought you were looking at a guy who was going to hit 30 plus, and he will. I really believe that yes, one day. Absolutely. Uh, 30 plus and drive in 90 plus. He was that focused and that ready to go. And it's not to say he wasn't in the reconfiguration of the season, but to your point, I think it did affect him. Yeah, because win scoring five runs in the ninth inning yesterday. Kyle Freeland's going to be on the mound for the Rockies today, and that's always a good thing. Here's the lineup that he will see. Presented by Southwest Airlines and written out by Joe Madden this afternoon. David Fletcher had an ankle injury off the injured list and back at the top of the lineup. He's having a very good year. Jared Walsh will bat second. Mike Trout will bat third. I think you've heard of him. Anthony Rendon, Albert Pujols. The great Albert Pujols is in the lineup tonight as the DH. Justin Upton, Max Stasi, the catcher. Joe Adele, one of the top prospects in all of baseball and Andrelton Simmons will play short and bat nine. Well Kyle's coming off with no decision in San Diego but he threw six shutout innings in his last start allowing just three hits against that talented Padre lineup. And this year at home he's 1-0 with the 450 but that start against uh, San Diego was just a lot different than what we had seen in the previous couple starts. Three hits, three walks, seven strikeouts. He only used his change up five times in that ball game so a different plan of attack a very good fastball that he attacked those hitters with along with the slider and his slider probably had as much break as he is he's had in a long time so to me it's going to be really interesting because kyle has change sometimes it, it, even in a start what he uses between his fastball change up slider and curveball 24 year old native of panama city panama here's the southwest batting order for buddy black tonight rymel Tapia is up top then trevor story blackman with the grand slam drove in five last night nolan arenado next daniel murphy dh josh fuentes behind him david Dahl. Been out for a while. He'll bat seventh. Ryan McMahon eighth. Tony Walters ninth. And the Rockies did see Berea as a 22-year-old back on May the 9th of 2018. If you look at his numbers this year, he's been in just four ball games. And he threw five and a third shutout innings at Coors Field. Yeah, that was just his fourth major league start since then. He's made 37.